All right, welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at username enumeration. So we go to the site, like right here, right? This is not the Hacker 101 CTF page here. Uh, this is actually, let me see here. Let me try to pull it up like real quick. This is Micro CMS version 2, V2, like right here, okay? So we go over here, right? And we see this username and password. Now, if we type in something like admin, admin, right? We see unknown user. So for that reason, we think that we can do username enumeration, right? Let's right click out here. We'll go to inspect. Okay, get this a little bit bigger down here for you. And we see that the input type equals text, name equals username. And then we also have the password right here, name equals password. We need those two values like right there, that username, that password value. All right, we also may need to do the submit login. Uh, for this one, we do not. And we can use Hydra for this. Let's go ahead and do a Hydra like real quick. And we're going to do a tag capital L. And we're going to put a username list, right? So user share sec list. I will say names or usernames, names, names.txt. And now we don't really care what the password is. We're just trying to find out if we can find a valid username, right? So we'll put an admin or something like that. Let's go ahead and get rid of this like right here. And we'll say, hey, we got this site over here, right? And we want to keep that slash login out of this part, okay? And that HTTPS also. So we're going to go ahead and grab this. So it's going to look like that, right? Without the HTTPS, without the slash login. It's an HTTP post form, right? And now we want to do slash login, username equals caret user caret, which says, hey, go ahead and use this username, all right, which is our tag L, capital L, so a file. And the password is going to equal this password, all right. That tag I just says, hey, don't start from where you left off at, okay, just go ahead and restart. Don't wait your 10 seconds, that whole thing. Tag S is saying that's going to be HTTPS, so if this was just an HTTP, we would get rid of that. But we wanted to uh, force use SSL. Tech T uh, 64. Okay, we're saying, hey, set 64 threads at it, make it a little bit faster. This tech F right here, this is saying, hey, once you find a username, go ahead and stop running. Now, something with this, okay, if we were to put in, let's say, a, an apostrophe here, all right, and then we get this, this internal server error, unknown user is gone, right? That is gone. So, it would actually find that. So, if someone's name has an apostrophe in it, which it shouldn't auto log in for, but if you're um, username list, if that list that you have, that file that you have, has that, then yes, you will get a hit, and it will have that username, and it may be just because of that apostrophe. Now, we know that says unknown, unknown username, right, instead of invalid password, so we'll put an unknown username in here, okay, or just copy and paste it from right over here, but unknown username, and what that's going to do is, as soon as it sees that unknown username does not exist anymore, or if it gives us any type of different error, that's going to go ahead and say, hey, this is a valid username. If you use this tech F, like I said, that stops it as soon as you have a hit. If you're trying to find a whole bunch of usernames, you obviously don't want to use that tech F, like right there. So we enter here. This is going to take, oh, that actually went super fast, okay? So suppose we already found one, A-A-R-E-N. I don't believe that because it's never gone that fast before, but we can try it. Yeah, unknown user still in there. Did I spell unknown wrong? Oh, because I put down unknown username, not unknown user. So yes, it did work. It found that unknown username did not exist, right? So unknown user, there we go. Maybe I should copy and paste it, like I said. Uh, but now this is going to take a couple minutes. Um, each time I've done this, I've got a different username. Um, well, a few times I've got a different username. So I don't know if it has a different, a few different usernames that it goes through or what. But go ahead, throw this at it, and see if uh, you get a hit on it. Now, we could do the same exact thing with uh, a password, right? Instead of having this tag capital L, we could put in a username here, right? Once we find this username, do a tag capital P for password. And then maybe down here, right down, I don't know, invalid password or whatever it would be, right? Whatever um, unknown password, whatever it is, the uh, error that you get. And you can do that same exact thing with passwords. So that's how you use Hydra to be able to brute force stuff. I'll go ahead and hop back once this is done. All right, so this is actually giving us the exact problem that I talked about with this DA like right here. We know this is not going to be a valid username right here, right? So this is giving us the exact problem that I just talked about that if the username has an apostrophe in it, yes, it does say unknown username now. It does. So we want to go ahead and get rid of that TAC app for this one because it looks like this one like right here. We may also want to get rid of that TAC T64. That might be a little bit too fast for it. Um, that is 64 threads. You obviously don't want to do that in real life. Uh, this is for a CTF. You would obviously want to maybe do, you know, like five threads at the most, you know, in real life. Uh, you, you don't want to take down someone else's server, you know, some of that, or just leave it as default value. So let's go ahead and see if we can find an actual username and we'll leave, uh, we'll leave that to go ahead and run for right now. All right, so we're back, and as we can see, we found supposedly two usernames, but we know that this one does not work, and we found Glenda, right? Now, admin most likely is not the password, but we go ahead and try that over here, and she already tried it. We got Glenda, 
We'll type in admin for a password. We'll hit enter, and we can see that we have an invalid password. So now we now know that Glenda is one of the users on this machine. And that is username enumeration through the site pretty much giving us too much information with unknown user and not properly uh, telling us, you know, invalid username or password. So hopefully you all learned something, and I'll talk to you all later.